myself, Mr. Sir Deshmukh Sachin, working as assistant professor in civil engineering department of Valchen Stock Technology, Solapur. Today, we are going to learn about the hydrostatic forces which are acting on inclined immersed surfaces. In the last week, we have seen how the hydrostatic forces are acting on vertically immersed surfaces. Now, we will flash on the hydrostatic forces on inclined immersed surfaces. At the end of this session, the, we are able to understand the concept of center of pressure for inclined immersed surfaces. Also, we can analyze hydrostatic pressure on inclined immersed surfaces and we can calculate the total pressure as well as position of center of pressure for the inclined surfaces. The position of center of pressure you might be remembering that is the H bar that we are going to calculate. Now just see how it works. The inclined immersed surface here you can see the inclined immersed surface is this one and which is below free water surface this is x bar the center of gravity is x bar below free water surface and h bar is the center of pressure which is acting below water surface but this surface is inclined and this particular length which is you can say it is a distance now we'll see how it runs consider a plane inclined surface immersed in a liquid this one let a capital a is the area of the surface x bar it is a depth of center of gravity of immersed surface from the free liquid surface theta this is the angle at which the immersed surface is inclined with the liquid surface this is the angle this is the angle you can see this is the angle then w it is a specific weight of the liquid now we'll calculate first what is the total pressure consider a strip of thickness dx this is this is the strip of thickness dx width b this is the width b you can see this is the width b at a distance L, this is the S distance L, okay, this is the distance L and from O, from O, this is from O, a point on the liquid surface where the immersed surface will meet, okay, at a right angle you can say, the intensity of pressure on the strip is WL sin theta and area of the strip is B into DX, this is the B into DX, therefore the pressure on the strip that is intensity of pressure multiplied by area intensity of pressure we are going to calculate that is newton per meter square multiplied by area that is meter square you will get the pressure on the strip now the total pressure on the strip because it is a small strip you have taken into account there are such many small strips are there that's why we have to take the total pressure on on the strip that surface that is p is the total pressure which is integration of all these things that is integration of wl sin theta b into dx b dx it is an area now it is not going to be changed you take it out of the integration and integration of l b dx now l b dx is nothing but the moment of the surface area about o o o o is a surface this is a o o surface and which is nothing but this is l b dx is the area and l integration of l if you can see okay if you can see this is l and this is if it is l this is theta we are going to find out sin theta it is i put opposite to the hypotenuse you will get x bar upon sin theta that l is x bar upon sin theta put this value p is equal to w sin theta as it is and integration of l b dx is a x bar upon sin theta you will get w a x bar sin theta get cancelled and you will get w a x bar now the second thing which is most important that is center of pressure that is the h bar that we are going to calculate where the pressure is going to act the total pressure is going to act let c be the center of pressure 
of the inclined surface. This is the C, is the center of pressure of the inclined surface. H bar is the depth of center of pressure below the free liquid surface. This is the H bar, which is most important parameter. Then I G, it is the moment of inertia of the immersed surface about O O. X bar is the depth of center of gravity of the surface from the liquid surface. Theta it is the angle at which the immersed surface with the liquid surface. Capital A is the area of the surface. Now again consider a strip of thickness dx width b and at a distance oo the intensity of the pressure on the strip as we know wl sin theta area of the strip is again b into dx pressure on the strip we have already called, calculated it it is it is nothing but intensity of pressure multiplied by area wl sin theta and b dx is the area now moment of pressure about oo it is wl sin theta b dx into length that is the perpendicular length that we are going to take which is comes to be wl square this l and this l l square sin theta b dx now sum of moments of all such pressure about o because there are many steps like this so total moment it is integration of this particular equation so integration of wl square sin theta b dx is equal to w sin theta take out of the integration and integration of l square b dx b dx is area but integration of l square b dx it is moment of inertia of the surface about the point o it is w sin theta i0 now similarly the sum of the moments of all such pressures about o is equal to if you are going to find out the sum of all the moments you will get p that is the total pressure into h bar upon sin theta where p is the total pressure on the surface now equate these two equation equate these two equation we are getting the same thing equating these two equation equation number one as well as equation number two that is p h bar upon sin theta is equal to w sin theta i zero P is already we have calculated the total pressure. It is W A X bar into H bar upon sin theta is equal to W sin theta I zero. We are interesting in H bar calculation of H bar. So H bar is equal to I G I zero sin square theta upon A X bar I zero sin square theta upon A X bar. I zero as we stated it is moment of inertia. But for theorem of parallel axis, there are similarly many strips of uh, the small width are there, small thicknesses that we are going to take into account. So parallel axis theorem we are using, and by parallel axis theorem, I zero is nothing but I G plus A H bar square, where I G is moment of inertia of the figure about horizontal axis through its center of gravity, and H bar is the distance. Between O and the center of gravity of the figure, which is nothing but x bar upon sine theta. So put this value, put this value that is the value of I zero in the equation number three. We get h bar is equal to sine square theta upon x bar into bracket. This is sine square theta. This is sine square theta upon x bar, x bar as it is into bracket I g plus h bar square. Solving this, solving this, we get, we get h bar is equal to i g sine square theta upon a x bar plus x bar. If you remember, if you remember, for the h bar for the vertically you must it is h bar is equal to i g upon a x bar plus x bar. So i sine square theta it is added when the body is inclinedly you must keep in mind. how you can calculate the total pressure and center of pressure for the inclined surface pass this video you can calculate by these formulas p is equal to w x bar and h bar is equal to ig sin square theta upon x bar plus x bar the problem on this just go through it 1 meter wide and 1.5 meter deep rectangular plane surface lies in what and in such a way that 
A plane it's make an angle of 30 degree with the free water surface determine the total pressure and position of center of pressure when the upper edge is 0.75 meter below the free water surface first of all write down the all the data given then calculate the total pressure and then after calculation of the total pressure p is equal to wx bar then using this relation h bar is equal to ig sin square theta upon x bar plus x bar find out h bar which is most important that is 1.166 is your answer similarly you can see some course, some problems from reference books thank you